I'm going to speak to the last question, and I think why is it that I'm compelled to be a presentation person? And I just wanted to say that it's that lantern that Nano carried uh, years ago that caught the eye of my parents. Uh, we lived some 15 to 20 miles away from where St. Lucie's school was, but my parents were able to catch the light from that lantern through my sister uh, one Christmas when she came, which happened to be the last Christmas she spent with us because she passed with a cerebral hemorrhage three months later. But she shared something prophetic with my sister and my mother that uh, she said, you know, Donaldo and Joyce are the last two of our siblings who are in school. And she said, my roommate is a student who graduated from St. Lucie's School uh, and taught by the Presentation Sisters. And the experiences that she shared with me and what I see in her person and her aptitude, she said that could only be spawned by people who have great interest in children and their learning. And so she asked my parents, uh, even though we live so far away, do whatever you can if you could to get Joyce and Donaldo enrolled in St. Lucie School. And hence, I caught the light from uh, Nano Nagel, passed on to the Sisters of the Presentation who staffed St. Lucie School. And it's been something that has just continuously evolved within me. And even though I graduated from the school, went on to high school, I never lost touch with them. I found out how I could stay in touch through pen pal writing, writing to them, calling them by telephone, and this is a relationship that has endured over 60 years. So I feel that I'm passing on the, lan the lantern that Nano Nagel lit that caught the, the eye of our sisters and those persons who are now presentation people gone and those who are still working. And I just feel compelled to keep that light uh, ever advanced before me. Being as presentation sister means very many different things to me. First is being of service to others and, and knowing that you have a relationship with God is very important. And it's not a fairy tale relationship. It's, it's very real. And I think of God as a companion on my journey. But the other thing that I treasure very much are the actual companions that I have. There's a beautiful um, song that says, you have given me marvelous companions. And I have found that to be true. The sisters that I have lived with and worked with inspire me and challenge me, me and are true friends. And together we work for the poor and do many things together, but they continue to be the, a source of my inspiration. And I am so grateful for this companionship. For me, being a presentation person is quite a blessing. I am fortunate enough to come to work every day and share my day with the sisters and the, even the staff here. And it is just so humbling. And I come to work and I appreciate everybody. I love spending time with the sisters, hearing their stories and hoping that I can just every day get a little bit of them in me. So I truly appreciate them. And I love being a presentation person. Well, you know, I came to know the Presentation Sisters when I was in elementary school. Uh, my parents had switched us from public school to Catholic school. And my first day of school, I was absolutely distraught because I went to school in the neighborhood. And I used to be able to just hop the fence and be one block away from school. And now I had to get on the bus and go to this new school with, with new people and, and with nuns, and which I had no concept of. And so it was really kind of a scary thing. And I remember walking down what seemed like the most, the longest corridor in my life. And I walked down and there was Sister Maureen Allmeyer, who was one of our sisters, who was our third grade teacher. And she was parked outside the door and she was hugging every one of the kids as they came in. And for me, you know, um, to be welcomed that way was something that I have never forgotten. And then all through my years, as I was as I was discerning and, and listening to where God was calling me, um, I looked at other places and then I came home to presentation. And to me, to come home to presentation was uh, a way of not only living my call to religious life, but also uh, living it in, in the way of the hospitality and charism and mission of Nano Nagel really allows me to live that charism of hospitality, which is something that I've grown up in, growing up as an intergenerational Italian Irish Catholic. I mean, um, 
hospitality is at the very core of my being. And, and my mother was the first example of a woman of a welcoming heart for me. So then to meet and to come into a congregation where, where, where that hospitality, that, that, that sense of welcome, that sense of presence to other people is something that, that, that drew me and has kept me and has nourished my vocation for years. So for me, what does it mean to be presentation? It means to follow in the footsteps of Nano Nago. It means to be alive and awakened to the signs of the times and to respond to them to the best that I can with the gifts and talents that I've been giving.